<coughs> There's one more thing. What are you doing still talking to me? Enough goodbyes. Go to Sigurd. Yes. Be well, Uber. <coughs> so, my Alskona, it seems we have won. A great victory. Not even these walls could stand against us. This land will be ours in time. <laughs> what now for you? Uber and I will go west, driving to Saxons before us. Alfred will not hold a crown much longer. I hope one day to see you both there. I would like that. Birsten, your ram was invaluable in breaching this fortress. A trifle in comparison to the great service you have rendered me. You will have a good story to tell Alvida upon your return. There is that. But battle is not so thrilling and glamorous as the stories tell. I shall have to spruce it up a little. How did you like the taste of battle? That was... exhilarating. <laughs> Reminds me of my younger days. Had you not delayed those reinforcements, we might never have succeeded. You are brave for a priest. Do not underestimate the faithful. We give our lives to a god we cannot see or touch. There is no greater bravery than that.
they see me, this will get messy. with this. No! 
Hey, come here. Got me gold or silver here. Give me a hand over here! Yeah. <laughs> 
be my eyes soon. And Cast about this land, my friend. I should speak with Hytham. Rolo, return from Frankia already. This is a surprise. Is the Lady Estrid well? She is. Had a rough few weeks upon our return, but she is on her feet and with her family. And I am looking for a new adventure. If I remember right, you said I might find it here with your clan. That's right. Your presence is much needed and well appreciated. Settle in, and we will sail soon enough. <laughs> Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? You took your time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. You slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch, Fulcate, do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman mart. I know who I am, I know my destiny, and you will not hinder me! Brother... Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air.
He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all! Today is a day of celebration! Ranvi, Sigurd has been through so much. Be patient with him. Of course. I cannot imagine. The savagery of that woman, Folke. For all her wretchedness, she seemed to... to like him. I know that sounds strange. How do you mean? She claimed to know him, to admire him. Said he was a greater man than we could ever know. Yet for all her praise, she tortured him to the brink of madness and death. I do not understand why. In time, Sigurd may come around. And if he does, he may be willing to speak. Before that time, it would be best to keep all discussions about... about us to yourself. Of course. Now is not the time. I have no guilt, no regret for what we have done. But we should be careful. Agreed. Thank you. And know that, however far away, you are always in my thoughts. I know. I feel the same. Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. Where is Sigurd gone? There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. But he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out, but... <laughs> Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. For all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand. But all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. 
This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend. Return to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. Good day, my love. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he's barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. 